I can mix it up, so sometimes aggressive, sometimes a box on the back foot. So I'd say smart. Well, I first started boxing, my stepdad was a professional boxer and he took me to the gym with him one time and ever since then I just took to it, yeah. But before that I done karate, I got to purple belt in karate. Yeah, I've always been attracted to combat sports. Well, then again, I've always been attracted to sports in general because I've always dabbled in football as well, so I'm quite an athletic person. I had an amateur, my first amateur fight when I was about 11 and I stopped him in the second round and ever since then, I've like just talked to it and loved it, yeah. Uh, growing up was definitely Roy Jones Jr. I just loved the way he was cocky, showboated, but still got the job done. I don't know, who, who do I think could have beat him? I don't think anyone when he was in his prime. Yeah, man, he had everything, speed, he had the smarts, he had power, he was class. I've trained for years just to get to this position, so it's like I wouldn't want to throw it away whatsoever. So I've always got to keep working hard and keep winning. Being in the home corner, it gives you a bit more confidence, like knowing that you don't, obviously you still got to work as hard, obviously you always got to work as hard as you can in every fight, but just more of a relaxation that you're the home, home guy. Because in the past, obviously, I've fought and I've been on um, away cards and I've had to have a little training camp by myself, like a little four, four, four to six weeks training camp by myself and sometimes you're the only person in the gym. So when there's like a group of yours and you're all on the same show, it's a lot better and you motivate each other, so it's definitely better. Introducing Casey Benjamin. I've done good. I uh, definitely think I won more rounds than what the uh, ref gave me. I, especially when I, I, I've watched that fight numerous times. and I, Even the round seven, that should have been a 10 night round to me in my eyes because I, I was winning the round. I hurt him as well. He was almost gone. And I, like, I even broke my knuckle in that fight as well. And I still outboxed him. So I just think that. The ref was a bit harsh on me, but you know, we get on with it and we go again. Definitely, I feel like it made me, fall, like, made me fight harder just because I was the underdog. But I think in this fight, I'm probably still classed as the underdog because he's ranked higher than me. Uh, he's only got one last two, Mickinson, who's obviously a great fighter as well. So it's Probably class as a 50-50 fight, this one. I've watched a few of his fights and he's strong, come forward sort of fighter. He's a bit flat-footed, but he's strong, so that kind of makes up for the flat-footedness. If the British is tied up, then I'd love to grab like a IBF, IBO, one of them sort of titles and go into the international route and fight these foreigners and get them, get that world ranking. That's what my aim is, just to progress. So tune in, make sure 22nd of May. <laughs>